Hello again to York U Blog Patterns update with WordPress 5.8. If you have any questions or comments, you may leave a comment below or if you work for the York Libraries, contact lcshelp at yorku.ca and one of us will be able to help you out. So what are we going to learn today? First off, we'll cover the new York U Blog Patterns. What are they? What's the difference between a York U Blog Pattern? and a WordPress blog pattern. Next, we will do a little bit of a demo to walk you through creating a page uh, using the York U blog patterns. We'll take an existing page that has been already been created using the old way of reusing a reusable block and we'll recreate it in using it with the block patterns. In WordPress 5.8, there's been new features as well. To the interface and I will highlight those as we go along and finally I will answer some common questions that have come up uh, although don't hesitate to contact us if you have any other further questions we will touch on some other WordPress 5.8 features uh, that you should be aware of and may impact your web development or web creation of content uh, moving forward So block patterns, what exactly are block patterns? Are they Lego? What's the difference between WordPress block patterns versus York U block patterns? Well, a block pattern is a group of predefined blocks that have been combined together to create a layout element. This would be an example of a two column layout with an image, title, subtext, all set up for you to edit rather than just creating the layout from scratch. So what are your Q block patterns? Just like before, your Q provided you with reusable blocks to help you create your pages. Well, they have converted them into block patterns. In a way, the layout of your Q reusable blocks are being replaced with your Q block patterns. Other reusable blocks can still be used, but recommendation by York Marketing and UIT is to use the block patterns for layouts moving forward. Alright, it's demo time. Let's create something with block patterns, shall we? Hi and welcome to the screencast for we will be doing for block patterns. I have as a setup three tabs opened up. We have the libraries collection page. We will be mimicking this page and recreating it. This was created in York U uh, reusable block, but we will now create it using the York U patterns, uh, which are the same except they're using patterns and we'll get into that. The second tab I have is the sandbox where we will be creating the new page. And the third one I have just in case it's the older version of WordPress. So I can show you sometimes, you know, certain features have been updated in WordPress 5.8 and I can show you what they looked like in the old one versus the new one. So let's get started. We're not going to create this search box, you know, we'll just go ahead and create a banner uh, in that sense, but we'll do that at the end. Let's just first off create our new page. I can click add new here. All right, let's uh, give it a title. So this will be the collections copy. Let's call it V1. If you had a parent that you were creating this for, you can, you know, to give a bread or breadcrumbs or hierarchy, you would assign a parent to it as well. And we will go back here. We'll come back to the banner after. Let's do this part, which is looks like a quick links lock that we had. So I'm going to go ahead and click add new. I'm going to search for quick links or quick link. Now what you see above are the blocks that it's recommending. These could be reusable blocks or could be regular blocks. This is the one we would have used previously, 
but now we're using patterns and the patterns have a thumbnail and that's how you know if it's a pattern or if it's a block in your search well this one will have a thumbnail with it while this one will have a preview so I'm gonna go ahead and click quick links right side and it added the pattern now first things first we don't have to do that convert to regular block anymore because the pattern is already a local copy so I'm gonna go ahead and close that and what we have here we have uh, the title collections so that will be there from already so let's copy from here right click copy here we have to add a paragraph block we can just paste directly into an empty uh, column so right click paste added that info um, one of the other things you might have noticed this is a new one in 5.8 it was before difficult to get to the parent of you know let's say the the block that you're working on so I'm working on this paragraph block and I want to know access the parent so they've now added it on the side just to give you an example if I were to click here All right, let's click here and in order to access the parent I would have to go like this this well now we have it on the side at least so at least the most immediate parent you can access right away let's go ahead and add the links copy here just press delete paste and then let's have a look all right it's, it's getting there next in the list so we have related links I'm gonna go ahead and copy this control C or right click just to be sure and back to my edit uh, let's let's duplicate this hold shift arrow down duplicate Now, one lesson I will tell you from experience is if I were to copy as I did here and paste it all together in multiple blocks, it will not carry the styling of the look and feel. And it would rather n not look like this. It'll look like a default without our CSS classes. And I'll show you as the example in the next one. For now, let's paste this one. Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac. There we go. Related links back here. The way. Let's preview it. Okay, looks good, looks good. Now I'll show you what will happen if I had not done a duplicate, I and mean, even if I did do a duplicate, but I hold shift, arrow down, duplicate. But I'm gonna paste multiple blocks, even though I've duplicated it and it has the styling, so I'll go back here, click settings, advanced tab. You see how this there's a CSS class here? This has been pre-put by uh, York UIT. They've pre-styled the bullet points with the list style. Same goes for the related links. It has text uppercase H5. That means 
it's going to have the height of the H5 and uh, they're all going to be uppercase. But now if I go ahead and I copy the content policies, right click copy and I'm going to go ahead and just paste multiple blocks this way. Paste. What did I do wrong? Oh, undo and copy all of it properly. Click away. Over here it looks fine, but I'm pretty sure it's missing the CSS classes, so it's gonna look all wonky or big or whatever the default it picks up. Yep, you see how it is? It It's not c matching with the rest. And this can happen, and the reason you should know why it happened or how to fix it is because it's missing those CSS classes. So right now it's it doesn't have any of the list style. And I can either delete it and redo it, or I can show you how to add the list style. So Command C, Control C, go here, Advance. The style, and then what is the other one? So just click here. Text uppercase, Control C, Command, or Command C. Policies, paste. And now, if I preview it, everything will look as it should. Yep, it does. Now let's go ahead and add the next part, which was the three column. Let's go ahead and add that. Go ahead and click the add block inserter, go to patterns. And here's another way you can add, uh, you can select your queue blocks here. So you would only see the your queue patterns. Uh, blocks that are that you can use uh, You can uh, Sort it by based on what you're looking for but having the Yorkie one at least you know Any block you pick it's not a generic WordPress one. It's actually specific to York with York styling the York look and it all of his approved So that's what I recommend We had used the preview so we're looking for the three column we can use this one. Uh, we could use the card one there. Uh, I believe it's a little bit further down. I think they added a couple of new card ones that uh, actually have a nice background, a graphic background. If that suits your page, you can try. See here are the info cards one. We can use these ones, or we can use the feature content. And for now, I'm just gonna use the feature content because. We only have, uh, we don't have a link. And this is the one I was talking about that has the background. So let's go back up. Let's just insert this. Boom, it's there. Now let's update the image. I believe the first one was an Omni one, and then a bookshelf, and then the archives one. Place. Open media. I had preloaded the images up, so you know it saves us time for the screencast. Uh, place media select, and let's do the third one too, just for fun. I don't know if the alignment will go right or wrong, but we'll see. I'm gonna leave this tab open because then it might load faster. It's okay. It's good as expected. Uh, there was an issue with the images. They were not. Uh, they would be out of whack in terms of aspect ratio and and all that's. You know the heights would be messed up and all that sort. But 
looks like that has been sorted as long as you're using similar resolution pictures they will line fine they look good they still zoom so let's go back and add content uh, let's go back here again we have to be careful if I copy multiple the styling won't come in so I'm gonna copy only one piece at a time if this was a block in editor mode of course I would copy all the blocks and paste them in and the styling and the CSS would come through copy the link come through no the link did not come through so we have to go back and copy the link address edit paste there we go and we would repeat this for the other blocks as well I'm not going to because the purpose of this uh, demo is to show you patterns so let's just use as many as we can uh, what's the next one that we can use I could do a repeat but let's do something different I believe we can do one that has like the an image with a paragraph that's another common one that's used so let's add one over here you won't see the patterns unless maybe let's say if we look for paragraph now again the ones with the thumbnail are the ones that are patterns the ones without it are not so let's pick this one and let's change the image uh, well let's just keep this one I know it's repeat but in reality you won't use the same one now you notice how this was annoying me I could try to select it the other way I can the best way to navigate again here I can pick the heading go back uh, come visit the archives let's be specific library archives and then you will have some sort of content if you wish archives home or just uh, let's just call it archives home Oh, what's going on here? I'll just I'll just have to relink it. Now if I was locally within our website I could just go slash web slash archives and it'll know. But because we're in a demo sandbox I have to type in the whole URL. Q.ca go and let's see what it looks like now it's coming together oh maybe I want this on a gray background maybe I could do that uh, I haven't done it yet so bear with me close the list here Let's look for gray background. I still have the old reusable blocks. I could use those too if I want, but uh, you know, then I would have to convert to regular block as well. Patterns is the new way forward, so that's what we want to use. Let's do the full width of the column width. So column width would be just the width you see here. 
full width would be edge to edge and that's what we want and it is there let's preview I don't know if you could see it, but it's basically edge all the way to the edge over here. So let's move our content into it. And, you know, I could try to do the select. Oh, I got everything. Oh, maybe I missed something. Again, list view to this rescue. So we want to select all of these guys. The whole column. Nice feedback, it's selected. We click and hold to drag until we see the blue bar. Oh no, I forgot to, uh, oh it dropped in. Usually I would need to add a paragraph in there for it to work, but this worked out. Let's preview it. Right. It has the little gray, so it looks nice. Anything else? Uh, we did have that banner. Now, I this is uh, a different template. Why? So what? We have two choices. Either I can select the parent, the parent. Okay, and insert before. Now, if I add, let's say, the full width one, full, let's see, what do we get? Video player, well, we have a full width video player, if you have that. But let's say if I did the full width with some, uh, welcome to collections. Uh, that's the only reason I would use it for is if I wanted some text in there uh, Let's pick an image I should have added more but let's say I'll just use the frost one that we have here from Glendon uh, This is not accessibility friendly Open color I wish we could do transparency. Uh, maybe we can. No. Uh, so let's just leave it as. I'll just make the text red. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. Let's just say we want that. The problem is. And I'll show you what it is, the issue. Is that you will have it, and there's nothing wrong, but you would have to add a little bit of a spacer after. Uh, so there's some gap there. The title and the breadcrumbs are showing up top. So it's, it's okay if you want it here. But if you want it, let's say, to the edge of the top, you would have to use the other template, which would be, we go back to settings page pick the secondary landing page is something I created for the libraries uh, so it may not be available in your York U instance that you may have set up uh, basically what it is it's it's the same as a secondary page but it doesn't have any breadcrumbs it doesn't have a title uh, showing up you add your own h1 title in that sense but uh, I'll just show you the one that everyone has available with the theme which is a secondary page we'll add a feature image and let's add the same one so we know the difference and you can see it I wonder if preview works last time I remember I had to publish it or update it in order for the template change to kick in oh no it worked so you, now you see how this is up top edge to edge versus this one is sort of in between content and after title uh, that's one option you can do that's if you want text in your overhead on your content then the full image width pattern works otherwise uh, 
the one that's recommended is that you just use this secondary template and add a feature image to be your banner. And if you work for the libraries and you want to try the landing page, let's say you're making a home page, you can. And I'll just show you what that would look like. So it will have the feature image, but it removes the breadcrumbs and the, the page title. So you would have to add your own page title for it. And in this case, if I were to do it, remove, let's add, I'll just do it quickly just to show you, slash spacer, another way to add content. And I'll leave the default spacer and see what it looks like. There you go. So now you have this would be edge to edge you just see it as a edit link right now but this would be till the edge of the top and I don't need to put text in I just added it but you don't need to you can I might reduce the spacing a bit more or maybe add the title here uh, add it back so we have an h1 you know for web standards you must have at least one h1 collections home and let's change it to heading h1 uh, let's reduce this to let's say 60 usually 40 is a good number too preview Ah, there you go quick links collections home which is now very similar to how it looks here of course we added a few things the other last final part that I'll add is when to use reusable block well let's say I have this social media bar down here that's when you want to add uh, use a reusable block that we used to use because the whole point is don't repeat yourself so create it once and then you can insert it in different places without having to constantly remembering what your social links are or certain content that you want repeated on multiple pages and in my case it was the social bar and for that I would still go ahead and browse all Let's search for why you also I have why your social bar you may have some other one and this way I am still using reusable blocks it's not like they're not there anymore but the patterns is definitely what you want to use for layout all right we're gonna head back I think that's it uh, if you have any questions do contact us uh, now let's just go see some of the other WordPress 5.8 features that have come up that you should be aware of you may not use them for your content creation for your but at least uh, it's good to know what is being done and what the open source community is creating for WordPress. The other WordPress 5.8 features uh, include a WP image format, which is now accepted in WordPress 5.8. If you're wondering what WP image format is, it's the new compression format that is makes the file even smaller than PNGs and JPEGs and which in turn means your pages will load faster if uh, there's less to download for the client. Another one, a uh, little nice feature, they have added copy to clipboard when uploading to the media library. So this is good if you were uploading it and you just need the URL and you wanted to attach it to a page or to link to, to that image or to a PDF. Uh, this is a nice little handy button that they give right off the bat. Uh, other includes they have added a whole bunch of side wide blocks so you can have a site logo a site, site tagline a whole bunch of uh, query loops page uh, blocks that basically you can reuse across your whole site and they don't change and they're standard 
And then finally, some of the stuff we did touch about and in, uh, in the screencast, uh, which is block highlighting, dual tone, improved list view, easy parent select box, pattern recommendation, template editor, which is not uh, enabled in our York U theme, but uh, it has been uh, released with WordPress 5.8. And a whole bunch of under the hood improvements that the team has done in the open source community. And there's many other features and I encourage you to go ahead and look it up on Google WordPress 5.8 new features and you will see there's a whole bunch of others out there that may not be applicable but it's good to know. Thank you for uh, watching and sticking around. I hope you learned how to use patterns in your, your pages. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, do contact us. Con you can contact me, I'm Ali, uh, my colleagues Walter Taras, and if you work for the libraries, you know to email lcshelp at yorku.ca. If you are a faculty member or a specific faculty, you know to contact UIT for your IT help. Until next time, take care and always keep learning. Cheers.